Hello all. My name is Melissa Carroll. I am living in the Cabot area of being the caregiver for my mother with the milk. I was asked to do this video by Alzheimer's Arkansas to help shine a light on what caregivers actually really go through on a daily basis. I'm going to give you the good and the bad. Uh, so, excuse me with the no fixing of the hair and no makeup, but that's part of a caregiver's routine most of the time. So, here from the back of my porch of peace and quiet somewhat, I have a list of questions that they sent me that I'm going to answer for y'all now, and I hope y'all enjoy and maybe help shine a light on what caregivers really do go through if you're not there on a daily basis. So, let me pick up my phone and we'll get to it. The first question is, when did you and who you or your dad start caregiving? Well, my dad passed in July of 2007, so it is just me. I do have a younger brother that does have his own life as well. Um, I try not to ask him to do too much. Um, he does have a wife. Um, I moved up here at the end of June of 2019 to help start taking care of my mom. Um, I left my husband, my three daughters, and my two grandsons in Texas, and that's okay. That's what you do for your family. But these are some of the things that caregivers do have to go through. They do have to leave family members and, and other things to maybe try to keep their loved one out of a nursing home because you see so many horror stories of nursing homes. Uh, what is a brief description of my daily, weekly routine as a caregiver? Honestly, it can change from day to day. Um, right now, we are dealing with two hours of sleep a night. Um, it doesn't, she is on medications to help her sleep. Uh, there's just not a whole lot we can do to help her sleep without making the dementia twice as bad because of the type of medication that it is. Uh, you know, I don't do anything. I, my getaway is, is going to, to Walmart to go get groceries, to go to the pharmacy, or taking her to a doctor's appointment. Um, I do have my 17-year-old daughter here with me, so I can make sure her schoolwork is, is on point, because that was something I was worried about when I came down here to begin with last year. So it was just easier for me to bring, bring Sydney up here with me. She is a help with mama, um, but she is 17, and she doesn't need to take on this role as well. What challenges have I faced as a caregiver? How much time do we have? Um, their personalities change so much. Sometimes you don't know who you're going to see that morning or when you go into their room to, to feed them or, or to make sure that they're okay, to give their medications. My mom happened to be a former school teacher. Uh, one of our challenges is her not remembering anything, sometimes not knowing who I am. And watching a woman with a bachelor's degree in English not remember anything is one of the scariest and saddest things I've ever been to. What rewards has caregiving brought? It has brought me a lot closer to my mom. I get to spend lots of time with her, not because I have to, but because I want to. Because I know sooner or later, there won't be that much of her mind left anymore. You have to treasure the bad times with the good times. How has caregiving changed your life? Like I said, I moved up here a year and a half ago from my family. My 17-year-old has only been up here since the middle of July with me. I have missed watching my three-year-old grandson grow up. I now have a five-week-old grandson that I didn't get to see born, like I did with my three-year-old grandson. It's very painful. And watching the decline is something that is very sad. Is there a piece of advice to give to other caregivers? Take your time. 
this isn't a long road or a short road. You're going to get hurt. Please know that your feelings are going to get hurt. But it's not on them. This is the disease. And please remember it's the disease. It's, it's really not them. How has Alzheimer's Arkansas helped you in my journey? I tell you what, they are some of the nicest people. I applied for the uh, respite care grant, which I was granted. I finally got to go see my grandson that was just born, thanks to them, knowing that my mom was going to be okay and I could enjoy the week visit that I had. Because when I would go down there for two or three days at a time, not often, but it was always at the back of my mind, has she fallen? Did she eat? Did she take her medications? Excuse the train. Like I said, this is my quiet spot, believe it or not. Um, if you need help, don't hesitate to call them. You don't have to apply for a grant to get their help or anything. Just call them, email them. Look at the website. Look at the Facebook page. They will do what they can to help anyone. Like I said, my name is Melissa Carroll, P-E-R-R-E-L-L. -L. If y'all would like to friend me on Facebook, go right on ahead. If y'all have questions, I don't mind helping anyone as long as I have the time to do it. Sometimes that's 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. I hope y'all enjoy your journey as a caregiver. I know it's a hard road. It can be a long road. But do what you can for them. Thank you.